this demonstration looks at a couple of new things in the December 2023 release of NX or NX 2312, uh, specifically for product templates. The main thing that I want to show you in this demonstration is this ability to set scale limits using an expression. Uh, slider limits inside a uh, product template user interface. This actually works also for feature templates, right? It's not exclusive to product templates. Of course, we're sharing uh, really an authoring environment for product templates and feature templates nowadays. And so we'll, uh, we'll see how this works with a product template, but you can use the same principle with feature templates as well. This uh, really simple example here has a, uh, a height, of course, that uh, we want to be no less than 100. So we've set this scale to have a lower limit of 100, an upper limit of 300 here, for instance, in this case. And, and of course, we can move it around very dynamically between those, right? Have this set to do an immediate NX update here. We'll see that here in just a second. Uh, with a lightweight model like this that updates very quickly, that uh, can be very dynamic. If we have a heavier NX model that requires, uh, say, a second each time to update, then uh, we won't want to do a dynamic update like this with it. So we can turn that off uh, if we want to, but we'll see that in the authoring environment in just a second. The upper limit of this right now, you'll notice here is set to be 300. And if we change this to be 400, for instance, we can see the top limb end of this limit, uh, of the scale go to 400. The value will stay the same. This 250 will stay the same here. Uh, we'll scoot a little bit to the left here as the scale below gets bigger, uh, but we can see that that kind of change happens here. So again, as I hit enter on 400 here, we'll see the upper scale change and uh, and adapt to that new upper limit like that, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, similarly, if we have uh, say this at, at some larger number here, say 335 or 334, and change this to 300. Right. In this case, we may be we're going to be reducing that upper limit, and so we'll see this upper limit go to 300, and we'll actually bring the slider down to 300 also. Right. If we're setting the upper limit, we want to bound that top uh, by that new limit. So we'll see this kind of an effect here. Right. Where it tells us that we're we're there at the top. Right. And that'll bring us to that that uh, upper limit that we're we're after. So let's go look at how this is put together. Uh, as we go into product template author for this part, again, we can tell this is a product template with the little yellow icon on it. And uh, so we know we have an interface to work with. We have our dialog that we're building here. That top limit is this, uh, this height right here. This is set to be a scale right now. And you'll notice that that maximum value is looking at an expression name. So this max height is driving that maximum value. We will notice also that down here, this max height limit widget is also uh, using that max height. So we're driving max height here. As we change max height below, that max height is getting fed into the, the one above and, uh, and updating our limit, right? Which is pretty cool. So this lets us do a, a very dynamic thing in the dialog. Um, we've got right now, as I mentioned, on the height NX update set, this is making that behavior where it, it updates very dynamically as we drag the slider here. And uh, if we don't want that, we can turn that to none uh, out there. That'll wait for us to push OK or apply before the NX update happens. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have, of course, some options here to do this relative to an external change, like in an Excel spreadsheet or things like that, or to uh, a part family update, make a part family update happen during the update if we want to. Uh, but that's a, a great topic for another video. <laughs> um, in this case here, right now, we have this set as a key in uh, right here to, uh, to set that limit. We could have this lower one also be a slider or a scale, for instance, if we wanted to. So for in this case here, um, we've got this set to go from 150 to 800, right? To change the upper limit to a, a different value using another scale. Right, and this is set also to an NX update right now. So as we change this value down below, we can dynamically see the the height, uh, the scale above also update. Okay, so with it set like that, let's go see what it looks like. So as we finish here, we go out there. As we go now to to invoke our dialog, we'll see that we have that slider down below, and as we change the slider down below, of course, we're starting to see that change. Uh, to the limit up above in a very dynamic way, which is pretty exciting. Here again, as we change the value up above, 
we can see that that change relative to the lower one too, right? And uh, and so yeah, bring that all the way down even. We'll see, we'll cap that out at 150 and uh, we can see that update happening, okay? Good, so that's that scale limits by expression. Uh, a couple other little things here that we wanna look at as we go in. Uh, in NX 2312, we removed the need to have quotes in, in strings uh, out here in the UI. That was a thing that we did right before. And, and as we went to the new authoring framework uh, that uh, we, we, we temporarily were requiring quotes in here, kind of like this, right? And uh, we didn't like that. You didn't like that. So we, we adjusted that. So you don't need to have those in there. So if I type in some new word, a nice short one like that, that'll fit. Uh, I can do that, and here again, as I hit enter, we can see immediately the emboss change down here below, right? Um, so again, no quotes needed uh, in there. Another thing that uh, that we added here that I think you'll like is in the template authoring environment, uh, as we're working in here, we've added the ability to do a bunch of undo and redo things, right? Which is really nice. So right now, uh, as we go in there, you can see we're starting to configure the dialogue. This comes up by default as we go into template author. And as we do things like, say, add some more expressions to this dialogue here, for instance, you see it's adding those over there. Uh, we can grab one and drag it over and, and, and drop it in there. Got to drag it on that other one. There we go. Um, you'll notice that these things get added to the undo stack, right? Adding those parameters now each are on that undo stack. So we can go and, and undo and redo those here uh, as we want to, which is pretty exciting. Uh, similarly, if we go into visual rules in here and go and start a new visual rule here, just for fun, we'll call that one Fred also. And uh, that, that action now is starting to going into visual rules, creating a new visual rule, going and say, um, adding a, an expression or adding a sketch feature here to the visual rule, for instance, those kinds of things are also going to be on the undo stack, right? So we add another uh, another action uh, in here that gets added to the undo stack. And again, we can start to undo and, and redo those kinds of things. I'm using control X, control Y to, to undo and redo those. And uh, and that's that's pretty exciting. As we finish this here, the, the visual rule work will get really consolidated uh, into one um, step out there. Right, but uh, but yeah, that's how that's undo and redo is going to work, and uh, that's pretty exciting. So uh, I hope you find all of that useful.